Hi kids, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Every bee's birthday. Beatrix was a honeybee who lived in a nest with thousands and thousands of other bees. She loved being a bee, but there was one day a year when being a bee wasn't so good. Her birthday. You see, Beatrix shared her birthday, but she didn't just share it with one or two friends. She shared it with 1,999 other birthday bees. When thousands of them hatch in the same place on the same day, it doesn't feel that special. So bees don't celebrate birthdays. Every day feels like every bee's birthday. One birthday, when Beatrix was out looking for nectar, she noticed a mouse called Mallow having a birthday party. His birthday is the same day as mine, Beatrix thought. Beatrix hid and watched as Mallow and his friends had the most amazing birthday party. If they could celebrate, then why shouldn't the bees? On her next birthday, Beatrix woke up determined to enjoy the day. It's my birthday, she said, jumping up with excitement. And ours, said Abby and Bina as they cleaned their antennae. And mine, shrugged Ruby. It's pretty much every bee's birthday. Have a great birthday, Debbie, said Beatrix as they ate breakfast. Ah, oh, I'd forgotten about that, Debbie replied. You shouldn't forget about your special day, said Beatrix. It's not really special, said Debbie. It's no different from any other day. Beatrix felt disappointed. Just because it seemed like every bee's birthday, it didn't mean that it wasn't a special day. She headed off to collect nectar from the flowers near the hedgerow, hoping that Mallow would be having another birthday party this year. She hid behind a leaf so that she couldn't be seen and watched the mice hanging bunting and banners from the flowers. Surprise! they shouted as Mallow arrived. Then they all sang, Happy Birthday! Just as the first party game started, a worm crawled over and blocked Beatrix's view. She didn't want to miss anything, so she used her wings to hover and peer over the top of the leaves. The only problem with bees' wings is... They buzz! Mallow turned and saw Beatrix. Oh, hello there, he said. Are you okay? I'm sorry, said Beatrix shyly. I didn't mean to spy. I just love watching your birthday parties. It's, it's my birthday as well. Happy birthday, cried Mallow. Why don't you join us? Oh, but I haven't been invited, said Beatrix. Don't be silly. He said, the more the merrier. Beatrix spent the whole afternoon with the mice. They ate delicious seed cake and played musical mushrooms. Beatrix even won it past the petal. I'd better get back to the nest soon, said Beatrix at supper time. Are you having a birthday party with the other bees? asked Mallow. No, said Beatrix sadly. Bees don't celebrate birthdays. Too many of us hatch on the same day. You could never have too many friends to celebrate with, said Mallow. The more the merrier. The more the merrier, thought Beatrix as an idea began to form. Maybe I should plan my own party, said Beatrix. Would you like to join us? Better still, we can help you, said Mallow. We already have everything you need right here. Beatrix and the mice packed up all the party things and sneaked back to the nest before the other bees got home from work. When everything was ready, Beatrix waited near the nest. Surprise! she shouted as all the bees buzzed past her, but there was so much buzzing that no one could hear her. Surprise! she tried again, but it was no use. Quick, use this, said Mallow, handing her a bluebell flower. Surprise! Beatrix's voice boomed loudly through the flower. Suddenly, all the buzzing stopped as thousands of bees gathered to listen. What's going on? asked Debbie. It's a party for all the birthday bees, said Beatrix. There are far too many of us with a birthday today, said Ruby. We can't all have a party. The more the merrier, said Beatrix, giving the band a wink to start the music. Slowly, some of the bees began to dance. Then a few more, 
Then a lot more. This part is really great, said Abigail. I wish we could do this again tomorrow when it's my birthday. Maybe we can, said Beatrix. Just because lots of us share a birthday, it doesn't mean that it isn't special. Every bee deserves a birthday celebration. From then on, a daily party was held to celebrate all the bees born each and every day. And even though every day felt like every bee's birthday, every bee's birthday felt special. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. Ask a grown-up to click on the big red subscribe button so you never miss another adventure again. Kids, always remember to be good and kind. Bye for now. Thanks for watching and listening. Enjoy more stories at Dixie Storytime World on YouTube. We're also available on the Kids YouTube app.